I'd never wanted to become an editor. I fell into it because I was a trainee and then I got a job as an assistant and then I realised I could, I could do it. And then I decided I wanted to become an editor. Game of Thrones has between three and five editors each with their own assistant. So there's all of those workstations and then there are producers who are hooked up as well. Then there's the whole dailies department that are uh, uh, sinking all the rushes and grading all the rushes and all the media storage. So Avid is obviously, you know, the leader in, in, in big projects. So the workflow, it's uh, on Alexa and then it, it comes in on its drives and uh, into the dailies department, graded, sunk, sent to our assistants. The great thing about working on a project like Game of Thrones is that, that everybody is on top of the game and everything is uh, uh, avid and, uh, and all the technology has been you know, put in place for editors not to worry about anything else other than editing. What I love about Avid the most is its simplicity of editing and it, you know you've got in out play trim that's all you need to do editing all the other stuff is absolutely awesome but that those basics of the way that avid works and it trims uh, and you can just cut your scene really quickly is is what i always love about avid over all the other software that i ever use it always feels like i'm talking in a in, in my second language when i try and use anything else because it's not as it's not as simple the basics um, yeah, and all the add-ons, I always end up using all 24 tracks of Sounds Great, a great, you know, track there, and all of that stuff's brilliant, and all the Animat tool that everyone loves to use, and the grading tools that everyone loves to use, and they're all brilliant, but the bit I love is, is like, the, the solidity of editing pictures without having to think about what you're doing. Game of Thrones is a huge show, but once you're in your cutting room, it's just like, cutting everything else. It's not until, you know, someone makes you go to set to show the director something that you see the scale of it and it, you know, can freak you out a bit and, you know, you feel a little intimidated. The, the fine cut process on, on anything, it doesn't matter what you're working on, for me, you know, going through the fine cut process, it's really when I watch it and it has flow to it. Um, so the sequence that you've been trying to create this episode or whatever it is you're doing, I uh, have been working on so hard to create, suddenly you watch it and it just feels like everything's in the right place. And that, for me, is when I'm happy to show people and I, I, you know, I feel confident in showing people.